That was uh, the first time I had uh, done a speaking di a gig in, in Dublin. And um, I, the one of the questions from the audience w was, will you play me in a game of skate? And I, and I kind of just said, well, I don't know. I, I don't have the right shoes. I'm not really prepared. I don't have my skateboard. And he said, well, I have, I have a skateboard for you. And we ended up doing it after the, after the uh, event. Yeah, yeah, he was persistent. We've got footage of it here. Oh, there it is. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's an absolute Look at treat. I'm still, I'm still dressed up for the event there. <laughs> exactly, you see, you didn't even have your proper shoes on. You're still game on for it. Fair play to you. No, no we have to but point he, out. He held his own. To his credit, he held his own. Um, yeah. I did end up winning uh, yeah. because I, I've got a deep bag of 80s tricks. That's what I get for being old. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's the bonus that comes with being middle-aged. You need an awful lot of physical strength to recover from some of the injuries that you can pick up from skateboarding. It's probably easier for us to ask you, Tony, what bones you haven't broken <laughs> during your career. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, luckily, only the major ones are the ones that I've broken. I don't know if lucky or unlucky. Um, <laughs> I, my, I broke my elbow, I broke my pelvis, and two months ago broke my femur. Um, and so those are the only official broken bones I've had. I've just had a lot of a lot of sprains, um, a lot of, uh, or I, I dislocated my shoulder, I dislocated my fingers, and um, managed to bounce back from all of them. This, this femur has been the most challenging, I mean, especially at my age. And... As of now, I'm just working on walking without a limp. That's the next goal for me right now. Hang on, it didn't stop you walking onto the stage at the Oscars, that broken leg. That was that, that was actually one of my main goals. Once I got the call to do that, uh, I said, okay, that's the night I'm going to figure out how to not use this cane anymore. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and well done, you. I mean, just it just goes to show what kind kind of character you have. But you know, does your brain have to be wired a certain way that you're going to risk potentially death with some of the tricks that you try to pull off? Uh, I, I I think that my approach is is that I have I don't I don't imagine the worst case scenarios. Oh, of course you're going to show them right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That that was the day I uh, dislocated my fingers. Oof. Um, but really what it is for me is I approach it with confidence. I, and, and the things that I choose to try to do are things that I know I have all of the the elements of, of being able to do it. I just have to put them all together. So I never approach something um, carelessly or throw caution to the wind. I definitely approach it as in I have all the pieces of this puzzle. I can make it work. It's now an Olympic sport. Mm -hmm. And you are commentating on that in Tokyo. But... Were you tempted to have a go on the course yourself? Oh, very much so. And I, I made it a reality. Um, I actually got to the venue. They, they had the two disciplines. They had the park event and they had the street event. I got there while they were practicing in the street event. So no one had actually ridden the park course yet. So I did. <laughs> so I did it first. Um, and did it okay. until I got tired. And then I moved over to where they were doing the street practice. And I was trying to get some clips for social media of all the skaters. And I immediately got kicked off that course. <laughs> On the Tanoi, can Tony Hawks please leave the Olympic course, please? Yeah. That, that is literally what I heard over the, over the loudspeakers. <laughs> Uh, Tony Hawk, you need to get off the course. I'm sorry, I don't want to be the one to tell you that. Do you think uh, Skateboarding's Progress will help people recognise you? Because, Tony, you frequently tweet <laughs> that people still don't recognise you as Tony Hawk. Can you tell us, like, I mean, this was even happening during COVID as recently as that. Oh, it happens all the time. I, in fact, sometimes it happens so much and it's, it's such a basic interaction that I don't share it. But... Um, it's basically because I think, for one, people people connect me with my younger self with when the video games were released, so they didn't expect that I would ever get old. <laughs> and then um, when my, my ID, my, fish, my my legal name is Anthony, and somehow people can't connect that Anthony, that Tony is short for Anthony. <laughs> and so when I show my ID, they say, oh, like Hawk, like that skateboarder. And I was like, yeah, exactly. And they said, oh, I wonder what he's up to these days. And I'm, I'm like, 
this. <laughs> this is what I'm up to. Um, they what... don't. They still don't get it. It's 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 a fascinating phenomenon. Um, and I share it on social media. Some people think I make it up. I promise you, I don't make any of it up. It is just hysterical. You should honestly, people should check out your Twitter feed just to see the instances where it happens. One man who would never forget your face is our chef here, Adrian, who nearly he's been fanboying since he heard you on our show tonight. <laughs> Now's your chance to wave to Tony oh, Hawk. Thank you. <laughs> can, can I can I just say we. Uh, Uh, as kids grew up in a little rural village called Bomboy in Ireland and we had a little group of us kids we call ourselves the bog town boys because we're from like the countryside and we built yep. half pipes uh, in my friend's house in my own garage and we created a little competition because of you so I just want to say thank you for creating like a little sense of community for us growing up so it's a pleasure thank you oh thank you man that's amazing <laughs> Oh, that is absolutely that is cool. That's, That's the thing. Cool. I like Bogtown. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. What? Oh, I'm funny. all excited. You're all excited. My <laughs> yeah. heart is gone. Oh, I swear to God. My heart is gone. Is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that ever before. That was exciting. I know, that is cool. Uh, I've, got three, I've got three sons at home who are going crazy. I know. That Tony Hawk has just been oh, on the show. Oh, it's cool. Okay.